Alright. Splendor. Let's learn to play. Although I already know how to play. But let's learn anyway. Click the screen. Oh, that was hard. Um, yeah, yeah. It's 20, 30, 40. Four development cards from each deck are placed on the table. Click the screen to draw them. Here's how they're laid out. Start with all these chips. Or, sorry, this is the bank. Diamond, um, sapphire, emerald, ruby, and onyx. And then gold! Alright. Um, oh, so the fewer players, the fewer there are in each pile. Gold is always at five. There's noble tiles, they're drawn randomly. Number of those varies with the number of players. You gotta get 15 points. This is really noisy music. Because that means, unless I adjust some options, that nobody's gonna hear me. Oh well. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Select one of four reactions. Take three gems of different colors. You can't have more than ten tokens when you're done. Take two gems of the same color. Got a resource counter. Okay, let's take an onyx, emerald, and a ruby. Oh, I get to confirm. That's awesome. Because I know it's pretty common to be indecisive in this game. Reserve a card and take a gold. Yeah, I never do this, but some people do it. Uh, Alright, let's reserve this card. For the reservation. Okay, that's where it's held. Purchase a card. Obviously the strongest move. Uh, you get the bonus. Yeah, so... Because you receive... Oh yeah, so that... Yeah, this counts as a bonus one emerald on future purpose purchases. If you want to purchase this, you don't have to spend only one emerald because your card at the end is a bonus one. Let's purchase this card. Uh, after it's purchased, you'll receive the white bonus prestige points shown on the card, of which there are none. And required tokens are automatically spent. End of a turn. At the end of a turn, if I have the type and quantity of bonuses, you can earn a tile. Um, you can choose the most one. Earn the attention of a noble, you take the three prestige points that comes with that honor. Uh, there's the avatars of the other players to play two to four player games. Um, somebody gets 15 points, everybody gets the same number of turns. The person who's got the most points wins. That sounds really tough. Alright. Ooh, I get to pick an avatar. Avatar do I want? Uh, can I be like a blue alien avatar? Or would that be a bit out of place? Yeah, okay, we'll take this one in my coat of arms. Oh, well, okay, this is a no-brainer, right? I skipped past it earlier, but we'll take it. See? You get that either this way or in black. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, blue. That's cool. Green. Yeah, I've got all these colors I can pick from. Um, so come on, give me, give me my... There we are. It's a pretty obvious choice, you know? Uh, I have some guy who's dressed in green. Okay, we'll take, we'll take a funny hat, dude. Funny hat dude, here we are. Done. Yeah, we'll play against the AJ or AI. Um, balanced. Sure. 
Oh, this lets me pick. Okay. Player's order random. Yeah, we'll play. Let's see if I can beat it. Not the first player. I'm in position two. Alright, the AI takes its turn, takes some gems. I took a red, black, and a blue. Um, it's kind of a bummer. Okay, well, we're going to take a green, um, a black, and I guess a white. Sure. So I'm diversifying my options. Another red, black, and blue. Green, white, uh, let's take a red. Or an emerald, diamond, and ruby if you prefer. Yeah, it's... Um, oh, I could grab this card, which counts as black. Um, but I'm hoarding chips at this point, because I want to keep my options open. Plus, almost all the blue chips are taken, so I should take a blue. Take a green and a black. So now I can afford this card, which the computer's gonna damn. It. Right? Yep, I called it. So called it. So computers are pretty predictable. Now, what does it have in hand, resource wise? It'd be useful to know. You could just stack this ruby also. get this one. Come on. I want this. Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh, did it reserve a card and then purchase it? Well, that's dumb. You don't do that. That doesn't work so well in this game. Um, Alright, so I want some more gems, because I haven't really decided on any one thing that I want here. So I've got one onyx, two diamond, uh, whatever blue is. I think I need some more green. So take a green. Uh, what else is in rare supply? Blues are rare. And um, I don't need that. I've already taken a green. I don't need a... yeah, I'll take a red. take some more. Um, I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take this that costs one of each. It's a nice balanced card to grab. Um, so I have a bonus red and bonus black each time I make a purchase. So of course the computer purchases that card, which I would have gotten with like no effort. Um, makes sense. Oh, this only costs me, so I have a bonus red and a black, so this only costs me two black and a white. So I'm going to grab it. So I have a two red bonus anytime I make a purchase. Um, wow, that's expensive. Um, okay, so at the moment I can't afford it, really anything. Let's get a white and a green. What else? I suppose a blue. I'm just trying to keep this all balanced down here. cost me both my blue to grab that. Do I really want to do that? Um, I don't think I have any synergy here. Okay. I suppose I should start grabbing some black and white. I forget what my gem count is. It's possible this might be an atrocious move. We'll find out in just a second. Oh, this thing, the 9 out of 10. Oh, okay, yeah. You can only have a certain amount. Yeah, I can only have up to 10. Oh, you can see 2, 2, 2. Right. 
Yeah, I was just trying to get the sum. But yeah, you're right, this 2, 2, 2, 2 and 1 are the uh, gems I have. Plus the bonuses. Huh? Yeah. Two bonus reds. So now I can buy anything that's got a green border. Um, I'll go for the bonus blue, maybe. Bonus, oh, yeah. this guy. Yeah, I was looking around. Something is insane. I think those numbers in the corner correspond to how good the deal it is. No, this corresponds to how many points I get for it. Oh, well, it's the only one you can buy that you get a point for. It. Right. That's the only one that gives me a blue for buying it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's either buy this or buy the onyx generator here, which could conceivably be used to buy future things, but not really. So yeah, we're going to get the one that gives me a point and a blue, just to help balance things out a bit. This is an expensive card that cost me quite a few gems. Um, Alright, so we need some more whites and greens. Um, another blue wouldn't hurt either. Unless I'm going for something in this middle row, like a two red. I don't have any black. Yeah, I want, right a, now, I want one, another one of these. Oh, you're not in green. No, okay. Right. Another one of these. You might need another green. And I already took a green here. I can only take one oh. green if I, unless I'm doubling up. And that limits the number of chips I can grab. Okay. Grab two identical or I'm gonna grab the black. So now I have a bonus two black on any per or I have two black gems here. Um oh, I can grab another red. Um uh, it's kind of expensive. Um, you're using a lot of bonus gems if you get one of those. Let's see. Well yeah, I'm using a black and a red. Oh no, I, there is no red here. Bonus blue and a bonus black. Um, I don't like that it's going to cost me all my whites to get this. Um, I'm going to grab some more chips. Only because this diversifies my options a bit. And makes it more difficult for my opponent. That's not my problem. Try to get this guy here. It takes five whites to get it. What's the advantage of having him just uh, it's two points. It's big. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to grab a white and a green and a red. Let's see what my opponent purchases. Okay, so here we got a green generator. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, and you use three but You only have to spend one gem on it. Right. So we're doing that. And now with that one. Yeah, these factories are pretty cool. These gem generators, I call them, but I don't know what their official term is. Generator. Yep, yep, yep. Um, that second card doesn't give any points. We only need to spend two whites. True. Okay, so they got four red. That's two yeah, white. That's bonus four red. Yeah. And two gems. And I was just looking over here. You can only use cards to purchase these. Oh. Um, and so, yeah, maybe I want to start thinking about these guys over here. Are those Which just points? Or what? Yeah. Those are three points a piece. That's all they do. They're nobles. And there are only three of them? Yeah. Yeah, these are the only three that'll ever come out. Oh. Um. What's that five stack at the top? These are just more... Ex oh, uh, this is gold? They, yeah. It's what you get when you reserve a card instead of buying it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I understand what that means. It means you take the card from the board and just stick it like to the side here and only you can buy it. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of a waste of a turn to do that. Um, some people do do it. Um, yeah, I guess that seems to me 
the it deal. takes this to that get a rate of the deal, though. Oh, you don't have to spend your cards. Oh, okay. No, these are free. Three points we managed to get them. You just have to have the cards. Right. Okay, yeah, then they're a good deal. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if I could get some green cards, that'd be cool. Here's a green card. I'm going for the black jungle. Uh, I can't afford it. Um. <laughs> wow, my opponent is hoarding gems. That's amazing. I wonder what they're saving up for. Oh, it must be something in the top row. Those expensive cards. Why would you have six red in the store? There's nothing here that costs six red. Uh, I don't know what it's saving up for, but it makes me nervous. Well, you can't buy any cards. Yeah, I can't afford any cards right now. Um, so, I'm gonna choose... Oh, this is goofy. It's hoarding all the white gems. Um, you might need another though, so take that, then you can. You might need what? You might need that white if you want to, if he wants to get that two-point card. Yeah. So I'm gonna grab the white and the blue. Yeah, that's all I can grab, unfortunately, because I can't double up. Unless I take two blue. Okay, so it's buying something out of its hand or something like that. It's got five red. Again, there's nothing up here that takes seven. You can get that two point card. It's a black jungle. Yeah. And it only costs you two greens. That's a pretty decent deal. Um, okay, I still can't afford any of the guys out here on the right. But that's okay. We'll get there. I just need um, another black and another green. Blues are also useful for helping stack these things. Um, so, I want to grab this because it doesn't cost me all my white gems. White gems seem to be a rare supply this game. Because it's working well. Yeah, hoarding generally does not work in this game. these cost white gems in one form or another. Um, this is a point. Cost me a blue. This is no points. This is point two. You said four, I have three. I think I'm gonna end up scoring a whole bunch of points here really soon, though. Um, yeah, I don't want to spend all my white gems in one place. Uh, 
Uh, I'm confused. Um, do you click on... Which one? Maybe you have to... I'm confused. Can I not do that as part of my terror? Maybe there's something on the bottom of the screen that you can't see. Because you have the bottom part cut off. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well I'm gonna purchase this. No, there's totally a way to do it. I wouldn't. Maybe it, it automatically purchases it. I, I don't think so. Oh, wait, it didn't give you an end turn. Selected the card, which it normally does. Right. Um. Wow. It's double click it. I right clicked it. Wow. Oh. Very well. It's glitchy. <laughs> Get the black generator. Yep. Well, it's not so simple. My point is lots of gems in the end. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I've got good generators, but I have no white gems. Well, he's got a huge red generator. That's yeah. Um, and he's virtually guaranteed to get well. Yeah. yeah. This is ahead of me on that by a long stretch. Um, but now I need to just work my way up to 15 points. Whatever that takes. It's like, this is a free card. It's a two point. Well, that sucks. There's nothing I could do about that. Uh, it seems like whites are necessary for a lot of things, but you can get that one point card at the purple. That's the zero pointer. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, so, okay, I've got six blue. There's nothing up here that costs six blue. Got four green. Again, there's nothing up there. If that you get that green. bottom right to you, you get the card next to it the next turn if you want it. Um, true. Uh, yeah, Unless might, he doubles on black. So might I actually be them. useful. That looks so goofy to take, but there's advantages to taking it. And again, I could try to get a red generator uh, if I double up on black beer. Yeah, you'd actually be guaranteed to get the... Well, he could always grab it out of the middle of the road and prevent me from getting it, but... What? Oh, there's way like a reserve. You, yeah, you can reserve it. It's not wise in this case. Um... Actually, having the black generator helps me a lot with this, well, these two in particular. Or this one. This one's out of reach. Um, yeah, we're going to take this black generator and hope that the game lasts long enough that it's going to be useful. It's hoping a lot. Um, that's a point. I just need four more points. So I need to grab, say, this here. It's like nine. Double on black, so no. Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep. Unless something else obvious presents itself. Um, Oh, doubling's not possible when there's a very limited number of gems in a stack. Um, details, details. Uh, so yeah, I need to just score some points here. Uh, this is actually going to help with something to grab it. It's so goofy that I have to grab it. Yeah, the white gem part of it's pretty cool. Uh, so 
I just need three more points to close up. Um, okay, this is two points. Draw black boy. Two points is two points, man. Can't hey. argue with the two points. I just need a couple more points and I'm done. Um, um, try drawing a white gem, a black gem. Yeah, if you get a white gem and a black gem, you can get that two point card next year if he doesn't take it. Yeah. Which he can't. He can't take both of them. Okay, yeah, there you go. And it's like some other gem. Um, I could double on green, that would be awesome. Yeah. I could grab this dude up here for him. Unless I choose to go for lots of points. I could, I could be greedy. Oh, actually, everybody gets the same number of turns, so if I grab a card, I just win. What? Since I went second, oh. uh, he doesn't get another turn. And therefore, I win. Victory is mine! Wow. New record! That's kind of a cool game. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. If you think that's cool, you should see when we play that locally. Yeah. <laughs> One of my friends actually has the game. Played it before. Um, I've kind of crushed at this, to be honest. Okay, I have no idea what any of these challenges are. The Tsar of all nations, Ivan the Terrible, decided to build a great Russia, repressed him in the state of the Moscow region as the heart of Russia, first had to be unified. Da 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 da. Okay. I have no idea what this has to do with the game. Um, still, that's cool. 16 prestige points. In it. Oh, okay, this is a one player game. Right? Yeah, this is solitaire. Um, it falls to me to get 16 points easily, somehow. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. <sighs> okay, well this is anything but obvious what to do. Because I want blue generators. So to get a blue generator, I've got to grab stuff like that. estimating it here. There's a blue generator. Blue and green have some synergy, but I can't get that. There's no green. Easily. Solitaire mode. What? This game's got a solitaire mode. Does that give you a limited amount of turns? No. It counts the number of turns that okay. you take to beat the game.
don't have a red generator yet, but now I do. Okay, so now I have a base of one for each color. Um, yeah, one of my friends has this game. From time to time we play it. And I tend to win by a pretty colossal margin. Something chess related is something to do with just like Yeah, this it's free. Um, do I want it? I guess. I mean there's no reason not to take it, I guess. Um, especially because it gives me the red generator for free. Free black generator. Yeah. Oh this one's free, yeah, you're right. Also a free blue generator, which maybe won't be useful. Yeah. Okay, that's probably the most useful generator on the table. Um, now these nobles are four points apiece, so I'm just going to be grabbing all of them, basically. Yeah, you just need three, 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 three. Yeah. are both free. Yeah, the whole bottom row is. It's my third green. Three um, white generators necessary for two of the nobles. I guess. Yeah. yeah. There's a red. So that's going to cost me a little. Oh, yeah, I got it for free. That is free. Wait, can I not? No, you need green. You need black. Green and black. I've got green. Oh, wait, I no. need black though. Black. I need blue. Oops. Okay, I can take noble. Oh, there are more nobles coming out. Oh my goodness. I'll already get that one. Oh god, that's gonna be power. That's totally insane. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. Can you double them? I can't double. Can you right click it to begin with? Maybe? No, no doubling. No doubling. That's a pity. Did not know that. You still will need the blues to generate a blue. Yeah. So Unless another card appears, I'd go for a green, because there's a four green one for a black generator with two points in it. Uh, more importantly, there's this guy up here, right? Yeah. Which I will need the green for. things in the top row that... Oh. Oh, okay. I forgot to score it, but it just gave me this anyway. Um... Yeah, so... So how many points do you need? 16? I just need 16 points. Yeah, okay. Uh, so there's one more noble, basically. Um, uh, there's the red generator that you can get with two points. And then, yeah, and then you get the green generator the next turn. And you get the, so two turns. Oh! Red, then green. Yeah, that works. Um. Unless you can do it in one turn, that's the path. Oh, there's an equal number of turns way to do this. But, I mean, this does leave open the possibility that the next card to come out scores me more points. Um. Yeah, no, this is, this is the way to go. Green generator gets you noble. Right. Oh. There we go. Alright. Oh, I go. missed your orc. Shoot. I should have let you keep going. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, we got a new record. Can you, like, change it to have more points? Uh, hang on. Yeah, I missed Zug playing his orc there. Oh, that's too bad. Um, 
I'll have to check it out on the replay and see just how epic and dramatic it was. Um, many nobles from the Castilian court decided to invest in this promising expedition. Oh, I've got 20 turns to score 12 prestige points. Then you get 4 tokens each turn. Without any constraints, so maybe doubles? Okay, wow. Okay, so because of the wealth of investment that's going on... Holy crap, this is challenging. Um, I tried to get that red generator for... I don't know. Also, it's interesting that none of these score points. Yeah. Um, um I guess get the... Okay. I think I see... So there's no constraints on what I grab, but get the... Yeah, so grab four unique gems. I would grab white, blue, green, black, and then get the two generators on the bottom. Initially. Or yeah. just get the cheapest generators. And right, the that's the point. It doesn't, doesn't matter what I grab. There's no constraints on what I grab. So I could, like, grab this, grab... I would... Um, Wait. Oh. I guess there are constraints. Okay. Um, let's just grab one of these, one of those. Use white. Oh, really? I thought it said four. It did say four. Um, I have no idea what it was referring to when it said four. Whatever. Reserving the card? No. Um, no, it's just being finicky. Well, uh, it, it clearly applied in this four thing. Getting all the nobles sounds impossible in 20 turns. Okay, you need some black turns. So yeah, I need a black and a white, probably. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe a blue. Uh, yeah, blue would be a good idea here, I think. Mm. Well, I'm gonna get another blue here. Well, no, no, I don't know if I want that. No, you probably don't. Not actually. Sure. Yeah, blue is useful in general. We'll figure this out. Take the free white generator. Free white generator. On the bottom row. Oh, you know what? Maybe only the top row gives you points, so you're gonna have to play this that. Oh, that's true. The top row will give you the most points. The middle row will give you some. Yep, yep, um, yep. So maybe the blue generator in the middle row that costs you two cards. So. Yeah, I think I should try to prefer the bottom row until I've got something going here. Um, good gravy. <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, maybe that two blue, white. I, I do like the idea of having white generators. Yeah. Because there's a... This is four points up here. Um... I could get a black, though. A black would generate this. I don't know. Chain reacting these guys is tricky. This is probably a good idea, though. This costs me a white. Gets me yeah. a black. The black gets me a white. I think this is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah, I think you need to start from the middle of the top rows. Especially with the free. Yeah. Is well, that a free card? Yeah, no, there's now going to be a lot more free cards now that people do change. that red generator, is that free? Yeah. That is. Um, is it useful? I don't know. Maybe yeah, it's free. Um, maybe the blue generator. Yeah, this blue generator is kind of nice. Yeah, I see. Oh, this one. Yeah. Because that, because that, that blue point gives you more points. Yeah, point bearing cards might come out if I do this. Yeah. yeah. That's the only reason I was thinking about the red one. Yeah. Um, you can get that card. 
costs me blue, I have two points. I can also get this, which helps me get a noble. And then use this to fuck the free. Nine turns in, and I've got zero points, but that's okay. Uh, this is two points. Doesn't hurt to grab that. Okay. Um, blue generator would be nice, but it's kind of out of reach. Um, yeah, that top yeah, we'll go for this. We'll see what comes up. So that free black generator. This one. Yeah. It's a point. Can't object to a point. I mean you could, but why would you do that? You get that blue generator if you want. Yeah. Brings you up to four, so that means just the Right. You know the opportunity cost is non-existent there, so the only opportunity cost is then seven turns out from the game ending. But I only need seven more points. So I could grab this here. It's a point. Yeah, and it brings you closer to getting a wall in the area. It doesn't really. You need a white or blue, but oh, white generators to get the noble. Well, there's a free white generator, but it doesn't get any points. The more whites I get, the closer I am to get getting this guy too. And this one. Yeah. yeah. So we grab that. I'm betting it all on white. Alright. Oh, yeah. Get the noble, too. I noticed that. Alright. I totally noticed that on yeah. my own. If you do that one... Um, yeah, so this... Gets me the white that's useful for grabbing this up here. Mm -hmm. Four points. And that's twelve. Oh! Yeah, because the noble. Victory! Awesome. Yeah, it's New a record. very exponential growth game. Yeah, no kidding. It's a cookie clicker. Okay, collect the needed jewels. Um, to give him... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gotta get him 15 prestige points within 24 turns. This challenge has a super... Noble Towers were 10 prestige points. Which is probably completely infeasible. Oh, that's the only. Okay. Yeah, it's green and blue. So, just four green and blues. Oh, you start with one of each show? Uh, yeah. Okay. And a gold. Um. Um. Yeah, just a little bit of pressure here. Wait, how are you able to get that black generator? Why is that part highlighted green? Because I'd have to spend my gold to get it. The gold counts as anything? Yeah. Okay. And how do you get gold? You can only draw one. Mm, you reserve a card. Mm. And yeah, it's the only gem you get. Honestly, I'll just do it. It's not worth it. No? Oh. Okay, let's see. I can grab something. So I'm going for greens and blues, I guess, in general. Um, so here's a blue generator, here's a blue generator. Well, let's focus on this one. This requires greens. What if the cards are in such an order that the noble is just a red herring? Like, it's actually I mean, that's entirely possible. It would suck. It would be a really clever game design, but it would suck. Well, we have 24 turns now. Generator when I okay, I got it. So um, green. Oh, I've already got enough greens. Uh, black, red. Enter. Um, another black. 
black would be useful. Black, red. Who do I want to keep in addition to that? Let's take another blue. So I've got a plan here. This plan involves getting this. And this is free, right? No, it's not entirely free, but it's good enough. No, it cost me my gold, because I don't have a green. So let's grab a green. Um, reds are interesting to come by here. Um, I can afford this without giving up my gold. Um, let's see, what was I planning next? I still can't afford this. on the less valuable the gold is. Mm -hmm. If you get that, then you can get the black generator next to it. Right, that's what I was thinking. Alright, we're burning it. There goes my gold. Okay, so nothing's free yet. Oh, this is kind of, sort of, not entirely free. Oh, it is free. Cost me a block. Oh, I've cost you a turn. Right. There we go. It's almost always a good deal out there. Um, can't get any cards. So. Yeah. So I'm doing okay at grabbing the greens and blues. Still can't afford this. In fact, that's probably forever out of reach. It'd be cool if I could get it, but it's too expensive. So 
still need 15 points. <laughs> 14 points. Oh, 14. Yeah. You have one. Okay. And you have six turns. That's actually pretty difficult. Yeah. This one's challenging. This one's challenging. Yep. If you can get the super noble, which that's will take four more. turns. Yeah, shit, that's tough. Yeah, I think I'm screwed. Um, green, maybe green. Yeah, because then you get that one point card. Uh, this whole game, I've been trying to collect points. Reasons to have them. Oh, yeah, I can't get the super noble thing. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> that one would be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Because the last challenge was like a piece of cake. Yeah. Okay, where's the resign button? Really? Well, I'm dead lost, am I not? Uh, I don't know, you don't know what cards are. Five turns. This is, I mean, I can see how close I get to not yeah. failing it. Plus, you'd know what cards come up after a while in certain piles. Yeah. I can go for the red one, though. Okay, take it. Now what? There's another red one. Well, that. Yeah. Okay, so the super noble is totally lost. Yeah. That's why I was saying, like, a turn ago, just give it up. Yeah. Two points, but he's gonna be happy with this. Something, something. Almost got the super. There we go. Five is about the same as fifteen. That's true. Maybe he'll just think it was a rounding error. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Well, that was pretty close. <laughs> Not really. I think you need to just get as many possible generators as early on for as cheap as possible. Yeah, I guess so. I would. Honestly, just start with the platinum generator. This one, or yeah, it costs you like, uh, costs you three, as opposed to costs you five, which the green generator. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well, obviously not gonna draw gems. Nope, not drawing gems. All right, drawing gems is for fools. Two black gems. Um, so try to go for the green generator. Yeah. So red. Already got a blue. Got everything else basically. Could get another one. Grab a green because you're gonna want it for that blue generator. It's probably okay.
are going for next? Maybe that blue generator on the first row? Or... Yeah. Sure. Big jumps. Yeah. Um, I could double down on blue and then grab that blue generator. Yeah. Or double down on green. I don't know. Yeah, I could. Although I think the game would, wasn't allowing me to do that earlier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's possible. Okay, yeah, that might be better, because then we'll get an extra gem. Green. We'll grab the green generator, which then the us to grab the blue generator. With all that, surely I can grab some. There we go. Two free black generators. Yep. Cards in the top row that require some yeah. expensive stuff. then you can get both the green and blue generators, which gets you the super noble. And, yeah, I think that's... Let's see, let's make sure... No, that's 14 points. So you just need to get those two cards, and then you have one more turn to get one point. Uh, but this is, I'm not sure if I have enough turns. No, this is turn 22. Okay. And you get... Yeah. We'll green, see. blue, we'll red. Boom. Game. I'm just seeing if there's, <laughs> if there's a better way to do it. Red. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I'm just seeing if there's something better. Uh, well, something there's no like way to grab things at the top of it. So well, if damage. you grab the blue first, then another card may come up.
Gross. that they even bother timing this because they tell you in the instructions um, that the cards are in a predefined ordering. Meaning, once you find the solution, you can just bust it out instantly and the same cards will be out in the same order. 20 prestige points in 26 turns. Oh man. Each oh, turn each turn's is limited to the Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Could always use cheat engine and slow the game down. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, um, once you've solved it, it's a lot easier. Oh, there are only two rows. Oh, that's interesting. Um, oh, I see. This is how I gauge how far we are time-wise. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yep, and grab the black and then grab the 
Just easier said than done. Obviously, it must have been so. Um, wow. Okay. Well, it only goes downhill from there, I suppose. Mm -hmm. but, um, let's see. There's one more challenge in this section of the world, right? No, two more. The epidemic. Oh! 15 points in 17 turns. Each turn is limited to 30 seconds. Take four tokens each turn without any constraint. That's totally a lie. Uh, the value of each card is reduced by two prestige points. This is just horrendous. Oh, I get one bonus of each color. Let's just say there's got to be something to balance this out because this sounds like a total scam. But yeah, there's a bonus. But man, that timer is ticking. It doesn't wait for nobody. Yeah, now this this challenge is ridiculous. Are they generators? It's not that simple either. Surely they've playtested this and figured out that people are just going to go grab all the generators. Um, surely they've well, they could have this out, so there's only one way to do it, too. Testing this, or yeah, I think I just these are still the easy somehow I happened upon the the way to do it. Um, so yeah, yeah, but you had six turns left. That's why I get a bonus nine thousand points on my score. Hmm, it's a shame it's not slightly over that amount. Yeah, I know. It could have been over nine thousand if only I had done it one turn faster. Yes. Okay. Desperate need of money, capture their king, blah blah blah. It's to marry his rich cousin Isabella of Portugal. But must not look desperate. Uh, okay. Fifteen. What? Fifteen prestige points in 25 turns. 
There are seven tokens. What the heck? I don't understand. How is this a challenge? Um, I'm going to guess that you need to draw a shit ton of tokens. This sounds insanely easy. Hard drawing. You just need 15 points. And I've got five bonus turns Maybe to do the it. cards have less points. No, it doesn't. I mean, usually it would tell you, like right here, if the cards have anything goofy with them. Uh, let me just understand the story here. Help him bring him up. I mean. I don't understand. I guess we'll figure it out. The turn time is unlimited. Okay, there's two nobles and only two nobles. Still, um, though, that's a lot of points on the cards. This will be easy. Oh, okay, we don't start oh, with anything. Okay, that changes it a little bit. Slightly. And, yeah, and it looks like the cards are a little bit pricier than normal. So I guess just aim for that white generator to start. Okay, yeah, this one. Same 
hours which not really the white one is better because I can drink just some of this. Yeah. I'll probably end up getting both anyhow. Yeah. Where's a red? Here's a red. You need a blue gem, a green gem, yep. and that'll get you it. So I guess other than that, nice. maybe take also a red. Cause I'll take a gold. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, red's useful just in general. I don't know where that. That's kind of deliberate. Yeah. I've been generally aiming for. If you get that green generator, I think you should be able to. Right. That's one option. I think that's the way to go here. This is the one I've been trying to get for much of the game. Yeah. Okay, so I need another black generator. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Well, you could always hope that you get lucky. Oh, this is awful. I take the red generator, because... This one? one? Okay. Well, you need a red generator. It's yeah. the way it is. It's the possible. The only way you can win. Come on, Black. Yes. Come on, Black. Oh. Well, you need a white one, too. So, okay. Oh, but you can't get that shit. Uh, oh, that's game. Here's a white. Yeah. Grabbing it. Have to take it. Oh, no. Oh, I can only take one noble per turn anyway. Oh. Whoa, oh, okay. That's, that's game over. It's GG. Restart. GG, no rematch. No rematch. Uh, I've been beaten. Okay, we'll take that. That was a tough one. Seven points away. Ah! Let's try that again. Yeah, I don't really care. Because 
I don't remember. Um, the double's insane. Yep. So, I guess my problem that game was that I kept going for this card up here. Mm -hmm. And that just doesn't work. So I need a strategy that grabs the lower point cards. You need generators that make generators. Here. It's just atrocious in general. 
need to grab this and see what happens. Hey, look at that. That looks good, although you need a red. Yeah, to get it. Need reds to make reds. Challenge menu and see like exactly what the rules said there. Card drawing is random. Okay. Yeah. Seven tokens per color. Um. Which I guess means I need to do a better job specializing in certain colors or stuff. So confusing. At least the nobles aren't random. Yeah. I think if there's a free black generator ever, you always have to take it. Yeah. And go for that red generator. So I guess this looks like you need to wait till turn three to get blue green, definitely. So yeah, I think early on the key is to to either avoid red or white, or to wholly commit to it. Um, so far it's looking like... I think it's good to get one of each, but I don't know beyond that. I don't know. We'll see. Is that red generator on the bottom right is tempting? Yeah. So, blue green for sure. On top of that, I need red. Yeah, we'll need the red to get the black generator, so... And then let's see. You need a blue also to get the... Or you could put just... Like, oh, that's, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, and then we need another red. Like this. Red, red for this. Collecting reds and stuff. Let's see. 
it's an option. A lot of the top row starts with reds. So yeah. Maybe you do need to just go for reds. Basically. But you also need black, and I don't think it matters what order really you get them. Right. So we're going to go for red and black this game. Um, what's the color of this card that's behind the enter? Maybe you need to draw greens and not necessarily pick up green generators. Wait, can I not? Yeah, that's where I'm getting. Yeah, you might not need generators for all the colors. It's the notion. Multi you need to draw green. Oh, this one. Yeah, then you get the white generator next turn. Yeah. What's going to happen here? Okay. Still need more reds and blacks. So double on green. Oh, shit. Um, I'm taking a white because I need this guy in the corner. Oh, you're saying if I double on green, though, I can get this and then get that. Um, no, because you still need a white. Oh, wait, no, because you have it. Right. And then that would contribute. 
Somehow, what's my third gem? Um, there is no hedging my bets here. <laughs> yeah, maybe a blue? I don't know. Yeah, I'm blue. Because I'm low on blue. I could grab this, you're saying? That is an option. Or even this one to grab the red one. That might take a turn that you don't want to expend right now. Yeah. Um, although, the white generator also enable getting pop something into the middle row. I would actually think get the white generator, double up on Ruby, yeah. and then get that five point card at the top. Yeah. Yeah. I think that actually wins the game. I'm not sure. Four yeah. points here. No, because it gets you two nobles. Yeah, I can only get one noble per turn. I, maybe black was the wrong thing to get last. I don't know. But I don't know that the random hard order gave me much of a choice. Are you sure you can only get one So... I'm gonna try this. Okay, we need some red gems. Oh, yeah. Double up on rubies and then... Victory! Oh, yeah. total juice. Okay, I have to choose. Have to pick favorites. Okay, wait. Oh. How's that a victory? Oh, because that's five point card I grabbed. Yep. Man! Holy crap, that was difficult. <laughs> Woo! Okay. This is actually kind of a cool game. I wouldn't want to play this competitively. I don't know. It's like certain games. Yeah, some people take this game pretty seriously. Um, the one player mode is pretty cool. And, like, I don't know, when other people are taking the game seriously, I do too. And I just win. So, it's definitely more fun as a social game uh, for everybody involved because, like, I don't know. I calculate things to the nth degree and I end up beating players when our goal is to 15 or 21 or what have you. I think it's to 15. Yeah, 15. 
Um, yeah. I end up beating them by multiple turns to 15. Just because I end up grabbing all the nobles and stuff. Um, always one step ahead. Because I know what it is that they're trying to do. Um, anyway. It's more fun as a casual game than a competitive game, for sure. It's one heck of a puzzle. No question there. No more challenges. <laughs> Alright, well that was fun. Let's see what we do next. <laughs>